you everyone welcome back so is as in the previous video we have already discussed the syllabus of the subject computer system architecture and also we have discussed some prerequisite for that subject and uh, they were the number system and conversion and uh, data representation and arithmetic operation so uh, now we are going to start with the very first prerequisite that was number system and conversion so as we all know that the uh, number system which we have standard number system actually which we follow in the computer science that is binary octal hexadecimal and the decimal now we are going to see their conversions in between like if we are given one number in the decimal and we have to find out its uh, binary equivalent maybe uh, we will be asked about its octal equivalent or hexadecimal also so we will be looking all of them one by one let's start with the first one that is the decimal to binary so to convert here i have given a number 13 that which is in decimal uh, the thing which which have written after the brackets that is the form in which the number which is inside the bracket is in right so we have given a number in the decimal form and they are asking us about its uh, binary equivalent so the process which we have to follow to convert it into the binary is this we have to divide 13 by 2 as i have to uh, you know uh, convert it into the binary and the base for binary is 2 so we will be dividing it by 2 so when we divide 2 by 13 we get 6 as quotient and 1 as a remainder now again we have to divide 6 by 2 we will be getting 3 as question and 0 as a remainder now again we have to divide 3 by 2 we have to keep dividing uh, until our uh, question become lesser than our dividend so here we will again divide 2 uh, divide 3 by 2 and we will be getting 1 as a remainder and 1 as question also right now as we know that further we cannot do the division as one is lesser than the two now the twist comes here how do we have to write this number right we are done with the uh, division now we have to get it binary equivalent so the uh, way which we follow to write it is we have to move from downward to upward okay so we will be writing it as a 1 1 and 0 1 this is my msb and this bit is my lsb that is most significant bit and the least significant bit so this is about the normal decimal to binary conversion now what if we have given a number in uh, which contain the decimal number also so for the non decimal part we have to follow the same process which we have followed here that we have to divide it by 2 so when we divide 12 by 2 we get 6 as question and 0 as a remainder then again we have to divide 2 by 6 so we'll be getting 3 as a question and again 0 as a remainder now again we'll divide 2 so we'll be getting 1 as a question and 1 as a remainder and for 12 our binary equivalent will be 1 1 and 0 0 as we have to start writing from msb to lsb that is from downward to upward now the twist comes with the decimal part how do we convert this decimal part into its binary equivalent so as we were dividing it here we have to follow the uh, exactly opposite process here we will multiply it by 2 okay so for the non decimal part we will be dividing it by 2 but for the decimal part we will be uh, multiplying it by So, so when we multiply uh, 0.4 to 5 by 2, we get 0.850. So here we will take zero as our answer, and again 0.850 we will divide by uh, sorry multiply by 2. So we will be getting here 1.700. So we will take one. that is non decimal part as the part of our answer 
and we will again divide multiply 0 0.700 by 2 we will get 1.400 okay so here our answer will be 1 and we have to multiply 0 0.400 by 2 again and here we will be getting 0 0.800 and we will take 0 as a part of our answer. Now when we will stop multiplying it. So for that we have to see that as we have start, it started from 0 0.425 and now we are getting 400 again and <coughs> for <coughs> excuse me. So we have to uh, stop the process as soon as we reach uh, to the closest value from where we have started. So where, as we have already uh, started from uh, 0 0.4 to 5 and we have reached to 0 0.400, we'll start our process. As I have uh, said earlier also that in, uh, in the decimal portion, we have to follow exactly opposite, uh, you know, uh, process. So as we were writing it from downward to upward, now we will be writing it from upward to downward. So my binary equivalent for 0 0.25 will be uh, 0, 1, 1, 0. So the complete binary equivalent for 12.425 base 10 will be 10, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So and base will be 2. So this was all about your decimal to binary conversion. So let's continue in the series of number system and conversion. We have seen decimal to binary. Now we will be seeing decimal to octal. So the process which we were following in uh, decimal to binary, similarly we have to follow it here also. As in binary, the base was 2. So we were dividing the given number by 2. Now our base is 8 in the octal system, so we will divide it by 8. So 75 when divided by 8 will give, it will be uh, by 9 times and remainder we will be getting 3. Now again we have to divide 9 by 8, we will be getting 1 as a remainder and it will be dividing by 1 time only. Now as we know that 1 cannot be further divided by 8, so our answer will be 1, 1, 3. Here, this 1 will be our MSB, most significant bit, and this 3 will be LSB, that is least significant bit. Now, the challenge comes when we have the decimal number also in our given number. So, for the 72, that is for the non-decimal part, we will be just following the same process, same approach. That is, we'll divide 72 by 8. So, we'll be getting divided by 9 times and giving remainder as 0. Now, again, we'll divide 9 by 8. It will be divided by 1 time and it will be giving us 1 as a, a remainder. So, as we know that further, now we cannot divide 1, 1. Uh, 1 by 8. So, 1, 1, 0 will be our answer. Now, let's come to the uh, decimal part that is 0.36. We have to multiply it uh, by 8. So, when we will multiply it by 8, we will get 8, 4 and 2.88 will take 2 as our answer. Now we have to multiply 8, 8 by 8 again. So 8, 8 to 64, 4. We are getting 6 as a carry. 64 and 6 will make 70. So it will be 7.04. So we'll write 7 here as uh, the part of our answer. And we will again multiply 0 0.4 by 8. So we will be getting 0 0.32. So here 0 will be our uh, will be the part of the answer and 32 again we have to multiply by 8. So, 8 is a 16 carry 1 and 2.56 will be getting as the part of our answer. So, as we have uh, seen earlier in the binary conversion also that as soon as we approach to the value from where we have started, we, we get closer to that, we will stop, stop our process. So, 
will stop and to zero and uh, we know that we start uh, writing it from upward to downward so 2702 will be the uh, decimal equivalent uh, of the decimal portion of 72.36 so our complete number will be 110.27 Zero two in the octal form. So now let's see the next conversion. That is decimal to hexadecimal. So here in the hexadecimal, we will be having the base as a sixteen, and uh, similarly, which uh, the process which we have followed for octal and binary, we have to do the same thing here also. That is, we will divide uh, the given number by sixteen. So we have given one seven and five two. We have to divide it by sixteen. So it will be getting divided by one, and we will be getting one as a reminder. So sixteen cannot be divided by sixteen. So we will be taking another number into consideration also, and we, then we get one fifty two. So It will be getting divided by nine times as sixteen nines are one four four, and we will be getting here reminder as a eight. Now again we have to divide one zero nine one hundred nine that is with the sixteen. So here, as we know that sixteen uh, six are ninety uh, six, and when we will um, uh, you know subtract. One zero nine by ninety six will be getting thirteen as a reminder. Now, as we know that further it cannot be divided, so it will be our final answer, and uh, we will start writing it from downward to upward. So it will be six three uh, one thirteen and eight in the hexadecimal. Also, there is one more way in which we can write these numbers. That is sixteen D and eight. As we know that uh, in the hexadecimal number system, we write thirteen as a D. So now the next conversion is binary to decimal, and for this conversion, we need to be very good uh, with the power of tools. And their value, like first we will write it like this: two to the power zero. We have to start from taking the power of two as a zero, and we will just see that here the bit is one or it is zero. So the first bit is one, so we will be multiplying it by one. And then we have to take two to the power one multiplied by again this bit is one, so we'll be taking here one. And now we have to take two to the power two multiplied by as third bit is zero, so we'll take zero here. Now again we have to take two to the power three as this bit is one, so we will multiply it by one. Now again. We have to take two to the power four plus this bit is set that is it is one so we'll be taking uh, mul multiplying by one and again adding it with the two to the power five but as the bit is zero so we will be multiplying it by zero now again we have to take two to the power six plus uh, multiplied by one as this bit is one now we have to calculate the value. As two to the power zero is one, one into one will make one. Plus two to the power one multiplied by two will give us two only. As this uh, digit will become zero after multiplying, uh, getting multiplied by uh, zero. Now two to the power three is eight multiplied by one will give us eight only. Now two to the power four that is sixteen multiplied by One will give us sixteen plus two to the power five thirty two. But as this bit is zero, so the whole value will become zero plus two to the power six. That is sixty four multiplied by one will give us sixty 
four. Now, after adding these values, we will be getting ninety one as our answer. So the binary uh, value which we have given was one zero one one zero one one. We have to find out its uh, decimal equivalent, and it is ninety one. So now let's see the next conversion, that is octal to decimal. As we have did in binary to decimal, we were taking the powers of uh, two, uh, multiplying it by the given numbers and then adding. Now we have to take here base as eight. So the first uh, power which we have to take is. Eight to the power zero, which will be multiplied by two, plus eight to the power one multiplied by four, plus eight to the power two, that is that is eight square, which will be multiplied by seven. So now, as anything to the power zero becomes one, so we'll be getting two here as an answer. And here eight four za it will be thirty two plus here sixteen will be multiplied by seven so sixteen seven are one hundred and twelve so after adding these values we will be getting one forty six as our answer that is the decimal equivalent of the octal number seven forty two is one four six. So one thing which we have to notice here is, as my base was in octal system, and I was converting that into the decimal. That is, from lower base to higher base. So my values are decreasing. Okay, as it was seven forty two, and now in the base ten, it is one forty six. That is when we are converting from lower base to higher base. Value will decrease. But if we will do the vice versa, that is, we will be uh, you know converting from decimal to octal, as we have seen in the earlier examples. That is, from higher base to lower base. Our values will increase. So this point sometimes give us the plus point uh, while solving the MCQs. As if we are having the three options which are uh, you know uh, greater than that uh, value, so we can just choose the uh, first one, which is the lesser one. If uh, you know it is the case of this uh, lower base to higher base, so. These points sometimes uh, saves our time, so it is better to know them. Now let's move to the uh, next part, that is hexadecimal to decimal. So here we have given the number a. Just a second. A, b, and c. So we very well know that. In the hexadecimal form, we write a as a ten, and b as a eleven, and c will be the twelve. So after converting a, b, c into their equivalent decimal form or hexadecimal form, uh, it will be easier for us now to solve this question. So here, the first one is c. That is, sixteen to the power zero will be multiplied by twelve. Okay. Plus now the next b that is eleven so we will be taking sixteen to the power one plus multiplied by eleven now we have to take a that is ten multiplied by sixteen square now after solving these values like here we will be getting twelve plus here we will be getting uh. Sixteen multiplied by eleven, we will be getting one seventy six here. And as sixteen square is two fifty six, which will be multiplied by ten, will give us two five six 
zero. So uh, the final answer here after adding these values will be two seven and four eight in the base ten. So this is all about the conversions. We have uh, seen the decimal point conversion also. We have seen all type of conversion from hexadecimal to decimal, decimal to octal, binary to decimal. And uh, now I think uh, we are uh, good to go with the number system and conversions. In the next video, we'll be seeing the data representation. Thank you.